Have you ever thrown a thank you party for a monkey? Or have you ever slept in a room that's shaped like a fruit? All these and more are some of the crazy things you can only experience in Thailand, and we will be telling you all about it. Hello, travelers! If you are looking for somewhere exotic with amazing beaches, great weather, and amazing food, Thailand should be at the top of your list. Thailand is the top tourist destination in Southeast Asia, with nearly 40 million tourists each year. Thailand has a perfect blend of exotic culture while still being comfortable enough for new travelers looking to get their feet wet. There are a lot of amazing things to do in Thailand, and you are guaranteed to leave the country with some incredible stories. To give you a taste of what's in store, we have made a list of 10 crazy things unique to Thailand. But before we start the list, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of our future travel videos. Well, Welcome to Tenzi's Travel, I'm Julia, and this is our list of 10 crazy things you will only experience in Thailand. Number 10. The Wang San Sukhal Garden Ever wondered what hell would look like? No need to wonder, just go to the Wang San Sukhal Garden. As its name implies, this garden is meant to give people a glimpse into how they would end up if they don't do good deeds. That is some scary motivation for doing good, won't you agree? Most people in Europe and North America understand the concept of heaven and hell from the Western tradition, but the Wang San Sukhal Garden is a very interesting interpretation of what hell would feel like or look like from the Thai understanding. As such, this hell garden is one of the most fascinating attractions that one can visit in Thailand. The garden is occupied with copper cauldrons and ghoulish-looking statues. These statues are a sort of a representation that explains what happens to those who find themselves in hell according to the Buddha religion. According to some publication notes, there are some places in the garden that are filled with signs. These signs suggest that if you are a good person, you can avoid going into that section of the garden. Number 9. The Chicken Island you may think that what makes up the majority of this island's population is chickens, but that would be wrong. In fact, this island doesn't have chickens in it. The Chicken Island got its name from its shape. Amidst all the beautiful islands that there are in Thailand, this island is one of a kind. It looks pretty much like a chicken. Located 30 minutes away from Krabi, this island is indeed a weird one. Chicken Island is unlike most of the other popular islands that serve as tourist attractions. This island is is uninhabited. The only structure that surrounds the chicken island is a snack shack located at its shores. You may want to visit there if you find yourself in Thailand sometime. It's worth a day's trip. Fun fact, have you ever wondered where chickens come from? Well, the red jungle fowl is a bird native to Thailand. These birds were domesticated and brought to Europe during the Roman Empire, where they were bred for eggs and meat. You can still see wild red jungle fowl in Thailand to this day. Number 8. The Bangkok Airplane Graveyard Bangkok is known for its many unusual sites. One of the unusual sites is an airplane graveyard located in the neighborhood of Ram Kam Hang. This is the site for three abandoned planes that serve as homes for three families. But as much as it is a home for these families, it is also a place that receives a lot of visitors. The planes are disused Boeing 747 and two MD-82 planes. What we mean by disused is that these planes are not being used for flight, but the planes remain a home for these families. The airplanes serve as an alternative for the families as opposed to living on the street, and they also make money from it. They allow the tourists into their homes but charge them an entrance fee that costs about $4. That's definitely a creative way of making money, don't you think? Number 7. Resorts that are shaped as fruits In Thailand, you can live inside a pineapple, and that's just fine. Thailand is known to have lots of beautiful beaches, resorts, and luxurious hotels. And amidst these wonders is a fruity resort. The name of the resort is Ban Pasawan. The resort has rooms that are designed to look like fruits. The designs are very true to life, so if you see one, you won't have to doubt it. According to Atlas Obscura, this resort has up to 100 fruit and vegetable shaped rooms. The kinds of fruity rooms include
include dragon fruit, pineapple, bamboo shoots, and durian. It is said that the owner wants to appeal to visitors that are interested in nature and horticulture. The owner of this resort didn't just stop at fruit-shaped accommodations. The 80-acre property is also home for different varieties of rare fruit. Let's just hope that the room that looks like a durian doesn't smell like one. Number 6. Museum of Insects if you are creeped out by bugs, this one is not for you. Nothing spells crazy like a place filled with the different insects in the world. The World Museum of Insects and Natural Wonders has not only been described as crazy, but also creepy. We know there are a lot of insects all over the world, but when you have to spend a day in a place dedicated just for insects, it can be a bit much. According to Atlas Obscura, the museum was created by a husband and wife who called themselves a bug super team. So if you're a fan of dead bugs, then you should consider paying the museum a visit. According to Atlas Obscura, the husband of this bug super team is a malaria expert. The wife, on the other hand, is a successful mosquito researcher and they have their museum of insects to show for their years of success in their fields of study. It's surreal and more than a bit creepy. Number 5 police with Hello Kitty badges. When you think of police, you often think of cars with flashing lights, badges, and stern looks. But you probably don't think about Hello Kitty. Well, while visiting Thailand, you may just so happen to spot a police officer with a Hello Kitty armband. These armbands are disciplinary measures used by the police departments. When an officer steps out of line, they are required to wear a Hello Kitty armband. According to the New York Times, these armbands are issued for things such as showing up for work late, littering, or even parking in the wrong place. If an officer does any of these, he is expected to wear a Hello Kitty armband regardless of whatever valorous things the officer has done in the past. As a result, no officer wants to make any such minor mistakes. In fact, the idea of having to wear a girly armband deters officers from making these minor mistakes. According to them, it's a thing of shame for these officers. No officer wants to be caught dead wearing a Hello Kitty armband. And by the look of things, it seems to be working for them. So it's not likely to see an officer with one of these armbands, but if you do, now you know what it's for. Number 4 paper umbrellas. There is a village located in Thailand that is dedicated to the making of paper umbrellas. The name of the village is Bosang. This village is particularly beautiful because of the umbrella decorations that fill up various places in the village. The umbrellas are made in different shapes, colors, and sizes, and they are beautifully hand-painted by those who make them. Tourists usually visit the village in order to get a better understanding of how these paper umbrellas are made. The town is known to be very proud of their innovations, and they are not afraid to show it off. The papers with which the umbrellas are made are made by using the bark of mulberry trees, and the handles of these umbrellas are made from bamboo struts. In this village, there are gift shops that sell the beautiful end product. Number 3. Monkey Buffet Being thankful is one of the great virtues everyone should have, but it gets weird when you decide to throw a thank you party for monkeys. But in Thailand, there is a big buffet put out to give thanks to monkeys. The buffet is held annually for a group of macaques at the ruins of Phra Prang Sam Yat, a 13th century temple located in the Lopuri in Thailand. This affair is a real banquet, as banquet tables are arranged with up to two tons of vegetables and fruits, ranging from durians to watermelons. This is all set up for monkeys to feast on. You may be curious to know the reason for this unusual banquet. Well, local tradition has it that if the monkeys are well fed, that it will bring prosperity to the community. So the feast serves the dual purpose of making sure the monkeys are well fed to bring prosperity for the coming year, as well as showing gratitude for the prosperity that the monkeys brought the previous year. Number 2. Prison-themed hotel There is a hotel in Thailand that is prison-themed. In this hotel, you can get a convict experience that you might have fantasized about. It is common knowledge that people obey the laws of a country in order to avoid going to prison. But there are people who may like to stay in a prison-themed hotel. The Cirque Station in Bangkok is a place in Thailand where guests can check in and get their mugshot taken. Guests pay some money to get a convict experience. The guests are required to change into the black and white pajamas and they are also assigned
assigned an inmate number. The amenities in this hotel are not so luxurious, but they are still better than the inside of an actual prison. The rooms have metal bars, bars over the window, and bunk beds. The convict experience you get here is detailed to the letter, as guests are required to keep a curfew. If you think this is a crazy hotel, you would be amazed at some of the crazy hotels around the world. If you want us to make a video about the craziest and most unusual hotels, then like the video and leave a comment below. Number 1. Water Festival There is a festival of water in Thailand, and if you happen to be around during that time, you may be splashed with water. Someone could walk up to you and squirt you with water, or you may feel the sting of a water balloon which is sure to drench your clothes. This festival is fun and there's no way you won't get drenched with water if you happen to be in Thailand at that time. The Thai Water Festival happens around April, and it is an annual affair. Songkran, which is the Thai New Year, was integrated with the Water Festival, and it is believed to be a form of spiritual purification for the Thai people. This festival is a fun one where both adults and children gather in the streets to have some nice water combat. Although it is a water affair, don't be shocked if you get smeared with clay. It's all part of the fun. Have you been to Thailand? What crazy experiences have you had? Which of these things do you want to experience on your next visit? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends that eat the most Thai food. If you liked this video, you will also like these other videos. And if you have already seen them, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.